Hi everybody, it's Mr. K. And before we begin our lesson today, I just want to say how much I miss everybody at St. John's. I can't wait until we're all back in the church and can worship together and we can all have Sunday school classes together. But we have to do what we have to do, don't we? Life goes on. So I'm very happy to be able to provide you with this Sunday school lesson. So today, we're going to talk about a really bad storm that happened and it was recorded in the Bible in the Gospels of both Matthew and Mark. And uh, Jesus and his disciples, they found themselves in the worst, worst possible spot you can be during a storm. They were on in a boat on water. And we're here at Governor Pinchot State Park. And way out there you can see little people in boats. I think they're kayaks, but a fisherman just went by here a little while ago. The water is very calm, very gentle. This is not as big as the Sea of Galilee, of course, but um, it sounds so calm when you're here. So what's our lesson for today? Jesus had been with a large crowd of people all day. Turn this back to me, sorry. Jesus had been with a large crowd of people all day long. They crowded around him. Why? Because he was healing sick people. He was had miracles that he was creating. And he was teaching everyone about God. They crowded around him. It was just like today when people crowd around famous people. Like if we were to crowd around our favorite singer. Like if it was Justin Bieber. A lot of kids would be crowded, crowded around Justin Bieber. All wanted to be near him. Or maybe our favorite sports person. Maybe somebody like Stephen Curry, all right, a basketball player. Or how about if you're walking down the street and you see Daniel Radcliffe. Yeah, Daniel Radcliffe, the actor who played Harry Potter. I'm sure there'll be a crowd of people around him just as well, okay? So because of this, all day long, there came a point where Jesus said, I really do need to get some rest, guys. So can we get in the boats and let's go to the other side? We want to get away from the people. So that way we all have a chance to rest because I'm really, I'm really tired, okay? So the disciples started to take the boat across the Sea of Galilee, okay? Now, the Sea of Galilee is much bigger than, than Pinchot Lake, okay? It is eight miles wide and it is 14 miles long. When I went to Israel, I took a boat ride on the Sea of Galilee. It's not a huge sea. A lot of people there call it a lake, but um, you still, it's eight miles to the other side. Fishing boats back then were small. They were only meant to carry two or three people at most, okay? So they had several boats. It wasn't like they had one boat with 20 people inside of it, okay? So Jesus was tired because he probably answered a zillion questions that day, okay? He climbed into the back of the boat and found a nice pillow. He curled up and Jesus fell asleep. Okay. Now, you might think, how can Jesus get tired? Isn't Jesus God's son? Isn't Jesus God? How could he be tired? Well, don't forget, Jesus is also, was also a human. He was born a human so he could experience life that we experience. So as a human, he got tired and he needed to have rest. So when they started out on this boat ride, the fishermen just couldn't turn on TV or the radio and find out what the weather was, okay? They didn't have that, did they, way back then? So what they did was they started going across the sea and I would say about halfway across, very bad weather came in, a huge storm. The waves started coming up real high. The water was sloshing into the boat. The wind was blowing the boat back and forth, up and down, okay? Now, these fishermen, they, they have gone out fishing a lot, but they never went out this far, and they started to be afraid. They started throwing everything they could overboard to make the boat lighter so it wouldn't sink. They probably threw their Nintendo Switch overboard. Well, no, I don't think they had Nintendo Switch back then, but you know what I mean, right? So they became so afraid that 
they went to Jesus and they woke Jesus up and they said, Jesus, don't you care that we're about to die? This boat is going to sink and we are all going to drown. So Jesus woke up. He looks out at the sea and he says, quiet. And the waves become calm. He says, be still. And the wind stops blowing hard. And everything is calm, just like it is here today. Then he said to the disciples, who are you guys afraid of? Don't you have any faith? And I think Jesus went back and curled back up on the cushion and went to sleep. So the disciples are talking and they're going, who is this guy? Who is this man who can control the sea with just a word? With just a word. Jesus didn't pull out his wand and whip it around. Jesus didn't say some kind of a spell. Jesus just said, quiet, be still. I'd love to have that power. I would love to have that power, and I bet you would too. Just think about this. Okay, you were at your house and you have friends visiting. You're all in your bedroom and you're playing. You're loud and you're making a mess, okay? Your mother comes in and she sees the condition of your room and she is not happy, no. And she says to you, I just ordered pizza for everybody. If you guys want any pizza, this room's gotta be clean. And she walks out of the room and slams the door. So your friends say, whoa, your mom is really upset. We had better get this room cleaned up because we all want pizza. But you tell them, whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. And you stand up and look at your room and you say, be clean. All your toys lift up in the air and go onto the shelves and into your toy box. All the puzzle pieces go back in the box and the lids go on them. Your bed gets made and all your clothes come off the floor, get folded, get put into your drawers. And you say to your friends, come on, let's go. We're gonna go get pizza. What do you think your friends are doing? They're all standing there going like this. How about this? You're in school and you're with your friends. Well, let's say, let's say you're a second grader, okay? And the big bad fifth grader, who's the bully, comes walking down the hallway and you know he's coming for you. He calls your name and says, get over here. And your friends are all, oh, what's going to happen? And you look at him and you go, be still. And he freezes. And you tell your friends, come on, let's go. We're going to lunch. And what are your friends doing? Just like the disciples were doing when Jesus calmed the storm. They knew Jesus. They spent a lot of time with Jesus. But... In this case, they were totally awed by what he did. In fact, they were just a little bit afraid, okay? So, um, they didn't understand. They forgot that Jesus was God, all-powerful, can do things we can't even imagine, okay? So many of us don't understand what God really is capable of, okay? No, nope, many of us don't understand what God is capable of. We forget, okay? We forget that God is as powerful as he is. So if God is this powerful, wouldn't you be worried that God could punish us if we did bad things? Well, the Bible also says that God is love. God uses his power to do things to help us to show his love as opposed to punishing us he helps us when we ask for his help during this COVID virus 
crisis that we're in now, we have to remember to do two things. We have to remember to thank God for all the good things that we have. Second of all, we have to ask God to help us, to help us be strong, to help us get through this crisis. Ask God and he will help us. When I'm done here today, I'm gonna to take a nice walk on a path here through, through the woods. And during the time I'm in the woods, I'm gonna be talking to God. You don't have to be on your knees alongside your bed to pray. You can pray wherever you are. And me, I'm gonna go for a nice walk here along the lake, along, um, the lake here and talk to God a little bit. Most of all, I'm gonna ask him to take care of you guys. All my Sunday school friends, remember, be safe, follow the rules, wear your mask, wash your hands. God bless all of you.